So we finally got to the capital of Greece to Athens. As you already see, we are in the town square, or I guess one of the town squares. And we're gonna be heading to our apartment now because it's like almost a two kilometer walk from where we started. So 40 minute ride from the metro to here and now a couple minutes more to get to apartment. Let's go. Cause baby I try, try to tell lies. Now I could spell them out if I still try. Cause I don't care as long as you're So today our first real day in Athens. And she's still a little bit sick. We woke up a little bit later. We want to catch up a little bit. So today we're heading to the National Park, the Garden, National Garden, I think it's called. And from what we saw, I thought it was really small and I thought it's gonna be like one of the things that we're gonna see one day. No, actually it's pretty huge. So we're gonna go there and we're on our way right now, but it's such a nice, beautiful day. In Krakow, it will be almost like winter. Here, it's pretty much like spring, warm spring, which is really cool. So right now we just got into the park, we're just inside and a couple things that I actually saw about this park before I got here online yesterday was that there is a, uh, a lot of trees and even I think parrots that are from different places in the world. For example, one person said that there were parrots from Canary Islands. So if that is true, it's gonna be really cool. To be honest, we have no clue where to go now. We're just gonna be probably just going around the whole park, right? Right. Okay. The closer I get, the further you go. I wanna know, I wanna know. If I walk away, do you wanna get close? Do you wanna get close? Baby, we can do this all night. Keep to be totally honest, I, I would never think that I would be so happy to see, you know, grass and trees and everything. Because let's be honest. I'm more of a type that likes to see um, water, that kind of stuff, but still nature. But anyway, because it's still pretty cold in uh, Krakow, seeing all of this, being able to be without any jacket or anything, pretty much like a warm spring, like I said before, is just something so amazing. Something that Eva actually said is the composition here of the trees and everything looks so good, right? Right. So I was just saying that I saw the fountain and that we have to go there, and I said to Eva, you know what time it is? And what did you say? It's time to throw the money to the fountain. Yeah, because we were laughing at this, because every fountain you see, people just throw the money in there. Like no matter what kind, like it came from an uh, idea that some water fountains had like this lock thing where you throw the money, but everybody just throws money if there's a body of water now. <laughs> One thing that is very iconic for this park is actually the iconic 25 meter high Washington palm trees. So we just found another spot to throw money. For good luck. <laughs> <laughs> the Athens National Garden is close to the Stigma Station. It is a 24 hectares full of vegetations, rare kinds of plants, saplings and birds and also different kind of animals. The fishes here are so big. They're huge. Yeah, like some of them look Pretty, like I would say some are bigger than you. <laughs> no, maybe not, but they're very, very big. Some of them are huge. We didn't know about this, but we actually, I actually said before that there are some animals here, right? I said the parrots. Well, what I see now is actually there's more animals. So we're heading there now because- And he's so happy because he loves so. <laughs> yeah, I love zoos and she likes animals. So it's like a heaven for us. So yeah, let's see what they have. It, it smells like a zoo already. And it's free, and <laughs> and I like free zoos. And, <laughs> and the best thing is, look, look, it's right here, right here. Everything you see here is like the cages all the way there, right there. There's F chicks, yeah. And I gotta keep my head up at the surface, oh yeah. But your waves pulls me in, and I can't hold it back again. I'm losing my cool When I'm here right next to you I'm losing my cool So we just finished
finished eating and it was pretty good. Yeah. It was like a gyros. Uh, like pretty much like a kebab or something like that, but it was put, like put on the plate um, with a pita bread and we paid 19. So today is the second day of our adventures or actually third day in a way in the Athens. Where are we heading? To Acropolis. <laughs> yeah, this is the monument of Philophos and this is what it is right behind us. Not too big, but it's actually, actually it's nice, not too big and we're heading, like you said it before, to Acropolis right there. And beyond this Acropolis is the viewpoint? Yeah, the viewpoint that we're gonna be heading to. And it's even higher. Yeah, it's even higher than anywhere we've been so far. Higher than here, higher than Acropolis. That's crazy. We just got our tickets to the Acropolis. To the all seven monuments. That are here, from the bigger one to the smaller ones. And the price for the ticket, normally the full ticket to get everything. It's 30 euros. 30 euros. For students outside of Europe, it's... 15 euros. And for students inside of Europe... It's free, so... Yeah, we got it for free. If you look on the thing, it actually says it's for free. Like. Price zero zero zero. It is really cool. And we thought that we have to pay thirty at least, euro or at least fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> but I think we wanted to pay thirty. We actually got the money already. Yeah. So we save up. Yeah, quite a lot of money actually, yeah. especially if you turn it into Polish zloty. Yeah. So that was really nice surprise. Great. Now we can head to the top. Now we can eat. <laughs> yeah. Now we can eat for that. This is her favorite part, photo photographing cats, like the one here. But I have a question for him. Did you buy the ticket? <laughs> we have our adventures. There's f chicks doing the photos, but we've been there. We've been to the top right there. If you look at it, it's the monument. To me, cause she wanted me. The word Acropolis is from the Greek words Akron, meaning highest point, extremity, and the Palace, meaning the city. 360 degree, anywhere you look, there's still the city. Like, it is a never ending city. So huge, everywhere, anywhere you would look, everywhere, totally. 360 in all directions, as far as you can see, where you can build, there's some buildings, some kind of a city. Unfortunately, the Parthenon and other buildings were damaged when gunpowder stored in the Parthenon was hit by a cannonball and exploded. It's a shame that we don't get to see it in its full glory. But what is standing there today is still, nonetheless, spectacular. So something that is very very cool is when they had the theaters and like the um, places to sit for the people that were watching well as you can see here this is like a representation of how it looked like and here is like a representation of how it looked back then as you can see from here all the way to the top see that gate remember that for a second and look now here is where this would be all the way to the gate and if you look, the gate is pretty far from... This is about where the stands are still here. So basically all the way, all the green here would still be the stands. If you were to ask me if there's way far there than anything you would see in a normal everyday situation, since, let's be honest, I don't think so even the stadiums to this day are this tall, knowing that this is pretty old. And the funny thing is, if you look here, you can see the green is what is left today, I guess. Um, or no, it's actually the Roman period. And basically the Roman period is still standing today, but this area is not. And this is where it would be. 
Yeah, but it was there. I forgot to say this, but today, this is a birthday girl. Yay! So today is her birthday, and today we're gonna be going to celebrate somewhere in a restaurant of her choosing. Yeah, happy birthday to me. Yeah, a birthday girl today. So we just finished eating, and what did we eat? We have eaten mousaki, which is similar to lasagna. Yeah, and we paid 24 euros for the two, two of us. The meal was mousaki, Greek salad, and soft drink. Today we're heading to the second place on the map of the pass that we got yesterday. One that we got for free. And we're going to ancient Agora. So the first place we are in today is Roman Agora. Yeah, right here as you can see. A little bit in that direction. Got so tired of waiting. Got tired of the chase. What do you see right now is the Tower of the Winds. It is considered the world's first meteorological station. It features a combination of a sundials, a water clock, and wind vine. We should film the documentary The Life of Cats in Athens. Right behind us is Stoa of Atalos. Yeah. The Stoa of Atalos was a stoa, which means covered walkway. It is identified as a gift to the city of Athens for the education that Atalos received there. Yeah. We can actually see our goal from here. This is right there. This is our goal. The ancient Agora. And we're heading there. You promise me to tell if there's anything haunting you. You leave it out saying where you're going away The ancient Agora of classical Athens is the best known example of the ancient Greek Agora. The Agora's initial use was for commercial, assembly or residential gathering place. So we finished eating and it was so, so good. Yeah, it was so tasty. If you ever ate in Hard Rock Cafe, this was something like that. It tasted kind of the same, kind of similar. But how much did it cost? Uh, six euros. Per person for the, ham uh, for the hamburger, the bacon burger. Uh, it was so called uh, special burger. Yeah, it was called special burger and you had, with the burger you had... Um, fries. The fries and a really nice sauce with it. So it was a really, very good uh, combination for not that much actually. Good price for perfect quality. Yeah, it was perfect. So today, another day for our adventures. And today we are in... Olympian. One more thing I forgot, uh, or we actually forgot to mention last night. Kitten update. Yeah. Yesterday we saw 54 cats. In like four or five hours. So, so many. Temple of Olympian Zeus is a former colossal temple at the center of the Greece capital Athens. Unfortunately, today there is only 16 original columns because of the barbarian invasion in 267 AD, just about a century after its completion. It was probably never repaired and was reduced to ruins thereafter. So once again, we ended up in the same restaurant, but I've noticed that we literally mention what it's called. And it is 24 Oro. Rough translation would be something along the lines of 24 hours or 24 hours a day. You can have the takeaway or eat inside 24 hours a day, which is really nice. But the best thing about this place was the food. The food is amazing, and not only that, it was really priced well. If you were to compare it, we had the burgers there on the other day, and they tasted like the ones in Hard Rock Cafe. But the thing is, not only they tasted pretty much the same, they were like less than half of the price. There's so many good reviews about this place, so if you're in Athens, please check it out. The food they have is pretty much like food you would have in like a premium restaurant, but at the same time, the prices are pretty much like any other restaurant around, so it really 
is the Pass of Paul Florence. So if you're in Athens, if you find yourself in Athens, make sure to stop by 24 Hour. So today's adventure, we're going to a couple places. To the stadium and the viewpoint. Yeah, we're in the stadium and it looks pretty big. It's really cool that you can actually go on the, the tarmac where you could like run and jog and everything. When I think about it now I know that I don't I do not wanna give you more of my life I do not wanna give you more of my life You're just gonna waste it now Not sure if I'll make it out Panathenaic Stadium is one of the main historic attractions of Athens. It is the only stadium in the world built entirely of marble. Not only you can visit the stadium, but you can also see the museum of the Olympic Games torches. We're on the way to the top of this, I don't know, hill? No? viewpoint and I just wanted to look around and look what we found. We've been to the stadium which is right there. This is the stadium we've been to a couple of minutes ago. It's really cool. It's kind of far. Cute. Huge? Kind of huge. Yeah, I would say so too. of the viewpoint. viewpoint but we have to be a little bit lower because it's so windy up there on the top we have this 360 panorama of the whole city. city and i think maybe even more than athens maybe something like around the athens yeah um but yeah it looks spectacular but it's really windy today so it's not that easy to even get like shots and even more i would like want a time lapse but it's too hard you should try it yeah, I should try it and just fall down <laughs> with the camera, with everything. Yeah, it's really windy and I guess it's on the top. But it's a very nice place, very close to the city center. Looks nice. And a nice walk. Cause I don't care as long as you're there. As long as you're there. Baby, we can do this all night. the whole day we went to the same restaurant once again because the food there was so good so we ate pasta spaghetti bolognese and we paid six euro six euro for each of us yeah something around that yeah i guess six and euro. we had this free dessert once again yeah once again they gave us free uh panna cotta. so today is our last day here in athens and today is the last place on the pass that we are in and it's called Karameikos, it was the potter's quarter of the city, from which the English word ceramic is derived, and was also the site of an important cemetery and numerous funerary sculptures erected along the road out of the city towards Elysius. So we're done with the museum. Yeah, the museum, the inside of the museum. Now we're heading to the outside. It's still a little bit raining. was great. 
great and it cost us about 12 euro per person and that was for the whole meal and we were there in our second day and we have this 10% discount yeah so we had once again 10% discount which was really cool and so we paid for both 21.60 euros and it was really good yes you liked it yeah I liked it really good it was really good what it was it was fries with this turkey meat kind of thing like kind of like we don't really know how to call yeah. it and the naming they gave wasn't really and we had this cheese dip but not not like cheese. traditional yellow, yellow cheese. cheese but it was like a Greek white salty cheese and it was so tasty very good last meal here in Athens because today is our last full day mm. in Athens what is left for us is just getting to the airport and coming back to Krakow.